Good morning. Welcome to our parish and our school families gathered with us at home and in our school and here in the church as we celebrate Tuesday of the fourth week of Easter. Today, may we listen for the voice of our Good Shepherd. Our Mass today is for the repose of the soul of Ed Pauls. Our celebrant is our pastor, Father Eric. Please stand. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you you in me. Good morning. We gather together this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we celebrate these sacred mysteries and, and remember our resurrection in this Easter season by calling to mind that the Lord will forgive us our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Lord, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountain, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, 
and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Feast of the Dedication was taking place in Jerusalem, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in about the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and, and, and asked him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? Are you the Christ to so, tell us plainly? Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them from me from by my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of, his father, out of my Father's hands. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. As we continue to celebrate the week of the Good Shepherd that we heard about on Sunday, when Jesus proclaimed himself to be the Shepherd of Israel, we see today that the numbers of the faithful are increasing. The apostles are doing their job of preaching Christ's word to those they meet and they continue to keep, keep the Good Shepherd. They, they, they become the Good Shepherds that lead the flock of Jesus Christ. But the whole point is that the reason we are this is because of Jesus. He gives his life as a shepherd does for his sheep. He doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who they are or where they are or when they are, but the fact that they are there. He is the shepherd that guides them. He doesn't run away when danger comes. He faces it head on. He fights the wolf so they don't scatter the sheep. He fights the predators so his sheep are stable. And if one strays, he goes after him. The 99 stay, but the one goes out and he puts it on his shoulders and brings it back. That is what he does for us. He is the shepherd that guides us, that leads us, that ponders us, that nurtures us, that keeps us here, keeps us in the word of God before all, keeps us and projects us into the kingdom of heaven. We know that he is the sheep because he was led to the slaughter. And in that slaughter, he gave us his life so that we might have life and have life to the fullest. And that fullness is very simple, the presence of God's word within ourselves. We have many shepherds, but we follow only one, one, one big one, the shepherd of Israel, Jesus Christ. He guides us, he leads us, he nurtures us. But most of all, he gives us the glory of his salvation through the power of the resurrection. Let us keep pondering who this shepherd is and take him into our hearts because he leads us and he doesn't lead us astray. He leads us to the one eternal place we call heaven. Attentive to the voice who calls us, we offer our prayers. That leaders of Christ's earthly flock may be faithful shepherds in his name, we pray. That all people may hear the divine words calling them to, to be, to, uh, to, calling them to life and peace, we pray. That our works may be plainly reveal our faith in the Good Shepherd, we pray. That the sick may experience the healing strength of God's hand upon them, we pray. And for Ed Pauls, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. That the dead may live forever in the unity of the Father and Son, we pray. And for our own personal petitions, we pray. Father of our people, in Christ the Lamb, you have made us to be the flock of many members. We ask and answer these prayers through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> we offer you, our Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may bear, that you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy, but at this time to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and by his rising to life, we, all, we are risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts, and together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy and people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her blessed husband, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray together in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, We offer our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach you with heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may God bless you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. And have a great day. Thank you, Father. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. Do not be afraid.